Purdue, our presentation today on the Big Ten Television Network. We'll be back to review last week's action to the Big Ten and preview today's when we return to West Lafayette. On natural grass. Well, I'm certainly one in favor of natural grass. I think that's the way football should be played. I don't remember talking to any player that really said they like artificial turf. 65th meeting between Iowa and Purdue. There is Hayden Fry. What a marvelous job he's done in 10 years at Iowa. Hawkeyes registered a 38-14 win over the Boilermakers at Iowa City last year. Since 1980, the series stands at 6-2 in favor of Iowa, including five in a row. Purdue had beaten Iowa 20 consecutive times between 1961 and 1980. And as we mentioned, Purdue will kick off to start the ball game. Fred Akers, longtime Texas head coach, now in his second year here at Purdue. sidelines made the trip over from Iowa City twin safeties back deep for the Iowa Hawkeyes Michael Saunders on the far side and on the near side for Iowa dropping back deep to receive this opening kickoff Peter Marciano Larry Sullivan a redshirt freshman with the approach and we're underway Saunders across the 20. Corey Walden hit him initially, and then he swarmed under. Out across the 25-yard line, Derek Kelson arrived on the scene for Purdue. Starting lineup, there's the Iowa interior line. Jim Poynton returns to the lineup. Greg Divis playing out of position at center in place of the injured Anderson. And the Iowa skill position players, Chuck Harpley, partly, of course, leading the conference in passing yardage. David Hudson may also see some action at uh, the tailback spot if Tony Stewart can't go full board here today. Sean Smith, very quick junior college transfer at wide receiver. Hawkeyes on a first and 10. Near the 27. Watkins in motion. Here comes Hudson out of the tailback spot. Permitted defensively in the passing game. Iowa on a first and 10. Hartley. Lost about two yards. Second and 12 from the 36 of Iowa. Hudson gets a block from Bass. Out to the 45 yard. down to the Boilermaker 46-yard line. He has 26 receptions overall this season. John Smith to the bottom of your screen, number 22. Good speed, a junior college transfer from El Camino. First down, Iowa. Hudson up the middle. We thought we'd also see Iowa test the... Hudson on a delay. Got a first down inside the 35 of Boilermaker defenders. First down from the 34. Hudson again. Trying to spin away inside the 30-yard line. Hawkeyes on the drive inside the 30-yard line of Purdue. Chuck Hartley. Lots of time. Cook is the release man. Gerald Williams wraps him up, but not before Marv Cook tiptoes his Podolak. I asked him, is Cook the best to ever play the position at Iowa? And he says, no question about it. He's one of the best athletes ever to play at Iowa. On the delay, Hudson hit him in the backfield, and down he goes. Excellent play. Injured a hip last week against uh, Michigan. Second down and long. Cook is wide open. Beaks denies him a chance at a first. Yesterday afternoon, we had uh, quite a bit of rain here at West Lafayette. Third down and five, Iowa. The blitz is on. Marv Cook makes a great grab for a first and goal. All four passes to tight end Marv Cook. First and goal, Iowa. Hudson. Good cutback. Touchdown. Dobson and Foster met him on the play, but Marv Cook is one power running back at 6'2 and 235 pounds. David Hudson 
Again, normally the fullback in the tailback position on this toss to the outside. Good cut back in. Now watch the power. As he gets close to the goal line, look at him drive those Purdue defenders back into the end zone. Jeff Skillet for the point after. And the Iowa Hawkeyes, very... Skillet on the kick, twin safeties back deep, and it's taken by one of the upbacks across the 25. Purdue gets good start. The linebacking core, they've been banged up a little bit there. Brad Quas is uh, the man to watch in that linebacking core. On the, on the offense, first down. 15-yard penalty, moves it back from near the 40. Back to the 25-yard uh, line. First and 25. First down marker is at the 50-yard line. Iowa showing a blitz and they... Dead ball foul, procedure, defense. First... Florida Maker. Jarrett Scales is the tailback. Fox better get rid of it. Burke nails him. They rule the play dead at the 21-yard line before he gave up the football. Mike Burke. Second down at 28 for the Boilermakers, who have dug quite a hole for themselves. Scales. Dave Haight wrapped him up in the middle. Makers. Box on the shovel for Scales. Not much there. Maybe three yards to the 25. Too soon. Running, averages 40.6 yards a kick. It's off a of beauty here. Marciano from the 25. This afternoon gets the football offensively. I hope that is not an omen of things to come. <laughs> the bottom maker is uh, in a little bit of trouble. That first offensive drive, not the best. Not the best way to start either. That's the big fullback pass. Richard Bass getting the call. And not much there. The mid portion of the line, Kushner and Tyrone start here today, but it's to the perimeter. Hit at the 30, but look at him drive forward again. Out to the Hartley. That one over. Data the near the coverage. Mark Adams out in punt formation for Iowa. A very short punt. Mark Foster lets it go, and it takes a boy to make a roll. 19 receptions, a 13-yard average. Option pass coming up from Miles. No go. Penetration, even against Michigan's big front wall last week. Joe Mott was just living in Bo Schembecker's uh, backfield. Second down and long. the pursuit. Fox let it go wisely out of play. The third and long situation for Brian Fox. Brummeyer is the lone setback. Scales in motion. Brummeyer. Penalty markers all over the play. Brummeyer. Information we saw Purdue the second week of the season. Actually their opener, John McCarthy, was the quarterback that day. into this kick. That's Marciano, number 26 for Iowa. Decked immediately on the yard line. Hudson, the long setback. That's Marv Cook, number 84. Now they move Bass into the offensive backfield behind Hartley. Hudson. Beats. Iowa defensive huddle on the sidelines between plays. Stewart. Tony Stewart for the first time today. Lost the Concern over the tackling of Purdue. The Boilermakers have been inconsistent in their tackling this year. Hartleib on play action. Penalty markers are down. Hartleib off the mark on the pass to Stewart. Donzel Leggett turned around and said, you're right, he got me. 16-yard line. Hawkeyes shifting offensively. Bass is the lone setback now behind Hartley. Bill Hitchcock in pursuit. Hartley under great pressure. Second and 20, Iowa. The pressure. We're going to show you some of them a little bit later on. They're just beautiful. Third and long. Dropped on Hartley. 
which is about 37 yards a kick. Mark Foster in single safety. Just did get it away. The kicker went down. I don't see a flag. Picked up by Foster. Foster down the side. They play great field position for Purdue. First and 10 of the Hawkeye 24. Graham. Trying to Ray Graham, a young. Goal just outside the Hawkeye nine for the Bottomakers. Graham again, this time he's still. Graham again, this time he stutter stepped into your screen, a wide receiver. Scales on the wing, box to the air, under pressure from Johnson. Touchdown, Strumbeyer! Completely fooled the strong safety. Season. Lance Shive, the holder. And the Purdue Bottomakers have caught the eye. They're playing well. Sullivan's kick to Saunders at the five. Short of the 25. Saunders. Special breed of guys. Quarterback Chuck Hartley. Watkins in motion. Stewart, hit by Creed. Turn to ross Aid Stadium after this from your local station. This is the Big Ten Television Network. Balloon to the top of your screen. Harvard to the bottom, and there is Chuck Hartley. On the second down, he goes to the shotgun, second and eight. All of his completions have been to Marv Cook, the tight end. The third ball that has been dropped on Chuck Hartley. Third down, eight yards. This time, Harberts latches on for a first down, and Kelson. Loose coverage there by Kelson. First down, Hartley on the roll. The sidearm to Travis Watkins, who tries to spin. Same play to the other side. And wide receiver. Penalty markers all over the play. Penalty flags on the play. Illegal procedure. Effect of his first couple of recruiting classes, which were among the best in the nation. You're seeing a little bit of that now, but you're going to see a lot more of it next year and the year after. Earlier than he wants to you to see it. Hartley being pressured, didn't get rid. Each team. Travis Watkins. What? Right ankle, it might be. Third down. Travis Watkins denied the first. The Boilermakers. Here to try to kick for the corner. That he has stayed in. Been nicked up, although he's played a little bit here today. You see that field position certainly in the favor of Purdue. Scales the tail of the tandem on a first down for the Boilermakers. They've got it marked out of the 12-yard line. That's Williams in motion. Scales. Joe run over and he's on the bottom. Box on the play action. And that's what happens. Third down and eight for Purdue. Formation. I think that's Sean McCarthy. Got a low snap and no pressure. The Hawkeyes setting up for a return. Marciano. I thought he messages from out of the game. Watkins in motion to the near side. First down for Hart leaving company. Stewart. Watson is not normally a starter, but he's getting. Stewart. Zell Leggett got a piece. Thing. So much better of a job. Third down. Hartley. Watkins on a diving cross. Foster back deep to receive this punt from Mark Adams. Adams going for the far side. Fair catch signal made. And the ball skips into the end zone. Ankle injury. First down for the Boilermakers from the 20. Williams. 
is in motion. Jarrett Scales. Second and long situations. He's second and 12 here. Again, Williams, the motion man. The fullback scrum mark are concerned. They're open three and third down. Premature movement of four tackles are freshmen. Third and 15. and they fool him up the middle and didn't work. Marciano back deep. Oh, Carthy just did get it away, but he got away a beauty. Marciano from the 20, from the 34. From their 39-yard line. Double tight ends in the ball game now for Iowa, both in the stand-up position. Hartley with plenty of time. Just threw it away. Really had Watkins on a post pattern one-on-one, -on -one. had him open. Second and ten. Bam. About seven and a half yards to go. Blitz is on. Intended for one. 38 yard line of the Boilermakers downfield. Played well. Let's see if that play really gives Iowa some momentum. Bill Bennett said we'll have to play one of our best defensive uh, performances ever to beat Iowa. Coach Fred Akers looks on as his defense tries to stop a second down and short guarded situation. Bass, first down and more, pulling his way inside the 30 yard line. Of his friends. See a lot of time in that backfield. Nick Bell, a freshman, is also in the offensive backfield for Iowa. Sophomore Nick Bell. Hartley on first down. Tried to sign arm it for Bell. Downfield on the running back. And goal just outside the Boilermakers three for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Power eye formation. Hartley on the give to Bass. Team for Spank and he reacted well back to basketball for Second and goal. Stewart. Kirchner. goal attempt. Just the plays by Purdue. They gave up a... McManus to the 20. Hard line for the Purdue Bordermaker. Now that's the way you're supposed 17-year-old Brian Fox at the control. Three years later, on December 23rd, 1970, Brian Fox, the quarterback, current quarterback of the Watermakers, was born. <laughs> 17 years later, in just his uh, third game, his third collegiate start, he rallied the Watermakers to victory last week. There it is. Faith Messick. <laughs> <They're all laughs> <the most. laughs> I thought you were going to say that. <laughs> Spoken like a former fullback. Second down and short for Purdue. Guys jumped on the line. Scales didn't need much to get the first down. First down, Boilermakers at the Purdue 39. Fox to the air. Nice pocket, but a look on the ground, it appears today. Iowa's did a good job of snuffing out the run. Second and ten. Fox on an option. Purdue 0 for 4 and 3rd down. They face a 3rd and 6. Fullbacks with a pass is right in the hands, Jim. You fullback. I had great hands. <laughs> McCarthy's had a good day. Marciano plays this on the... Dwayne O'Connor were there. 36. Got Hawkeyes with 2.15 to go in the half. Lots of time. But he did get open. Ball was thrown just off his fingertip. Second and ten. Iowa, 13-yard line. Hartley going deep. 
what? That really was an excellent play by Jim. Adams takes it a bit to the near side, and it takes a Purdue hop. That was not normally... Second time Purdue has started a drive inside Iowa territory here this afternoon. He fumbled the snap. Purdue is 0 for 5 in third down situation. His long is 49. He hit a 49 yarder. John McCarthy on a punt formation. Trying to pooch it to the far side, and it just does catch the end zone. Try 80 yards away. Bell is the fullback. Stewart the tailback. Hartley on play action. Seems like Chuck Hartley, but more occasions than not, averaged over 62% passing. First and 20 for the Hawkeyes. Back. On start for grabbing the face mask. It was a high tackle attempt. In yards to go as it's spotted down. Should be a first and 15. Hartley. Second down. And market is two yards short of that first down. Second down and about two yards to go. Time winding down first half. 16 seconds to go of the half. Iowa still with three timeouts remaining. Hartley. Moves like that. Going forward on fourth down deep in your own territory. We'll see what the official says. I believe you're right, Wayne. First. Moore at the top of your screen. Calvin Williams to the bottom. Now out of the picture. They are the wide receivers. Optimized by a couple of drop passes and give Purdue some credit. There are the drop passes. Give Purdue some credit. They put some pressure on Hartley. Second down and eight. Effective has not been so far in this game. And so you got this Iowa defense. Third down. Iowa on a blitz. Fourth and three. Scales has Iowa leading Purdue 10 to 7. Ryan Fox is a competitor out there. First down. The running back Tandem. Scale. Second and four. Rob Meyer. First and goal Boilermakers at the Hawkeye five. Line. Dave Hayes. Five of the second half. Second and goal to go from the game. Fox. Third and goal to go from the Iowa eight. from Johnson. We'll be back after these from your local station. Goal line on a goal-to-go situation the, uh, the Bonamakers went for. Two yards is a long way to go when you're going into the end zone. And there's a big gamble by Fred Akers. Bell in motion. The defense has forced Iowa to punt with the line of scrimmage of the Hawkeye 10. 
Adams out in punt formation. Short kick. Takes a Purdue bounce. Third Purdue drive to start in Iowa territory this afternoon. They start at the 32 on a first and 10. Hawkeyes showed a blitz. Here it comes. Foster, I believe, is the man. Melton Foster. Having a tough time. Seven minutes to go, third period. Box to the air. Intercepted by Brian Wise. Out to the 33 yard line, first down Iowa Hawkeyes. Wayne, the Hawkeyes came with a safety up zone. That's Ryan Wise in a short, flat area. Ryan Fox just never seven. You saw 15 right there. He's reached. Ryan Fox comes in the underneath coverage, right in his arms. Big interception for Iowa. Let's take another look. You'll see Ryan Fox. You see the man open on this side. That, that's more or Shrive on the other side, that's where Fox... Well, the second part of the equation is to get a short punt, good field position. The third part is to go in and score. Purdue unable to score on that drive. Very effective on his sprint out uh, passes. We saw it on... Something you've got to think about, I guess, at that point. Third down. The feet never got down. One formation, Mark Adams has had a tough day. Gets good leverage into this kick. Foster bobbled for a moment ago in the third. Iowa still leading by the halftime count. 10 to 7. Back up to the east from your local state. First and 10, Purdue. Near the Boilermaker 36. Fox. O'Connor average. You can see right there, Brad Quas, 35, was in coverage, but... Back when he scored the first touchdown, the only Iowa touchdown of the ball game. That was the first reception to any Purdue receiver outside of a running back. Second and nine. Third and nine. I believe that's what happened. Mott was showing. Still be a little uh, edgy if I saw Mott. <laughs> Here's Green. That's Calvin Williams. Fox to the air. In a tight pocket. Three of the top five guys. McCarthy hits it high, not very deep. And to go in the third, play on the lead. Of the season with third period, no one has scored yet. Stewart has some running room. Now back upfield, and it takes the cornerback, the safety, to make the tackle. Stewart again. Painful hip, uh, kind of a hip pointer suffered in the Michigan game, so Tony Stewart has to come out and suck it up and play hard, and that's what he's doing here in the second half. On the delay to Stewart. This down. Second down, a little bit less than 12 yards to go. It would have been a reception, I believe, because Harbert was open. And our spotter, Thomas John, caught it without a replay. Purdue showing a blitz up front. Third down. Mark Cook. It is fourth down. Seven yards to go, and the Hawkeyes are going for it. Hartley. Almost off the blade of grass. Came up with the football. Hawkeyes tip. First down. Purdue's defense because if Iowa gets out in front 17 to 7, the complexion of the game changes. Second down and about nine. Later. I hope it's a piece of tape, not a bow. Yeah, right. I know something about putting a bow on a helmet. Ninth play of the Iowa drive. Third down and nine. Here we go. Hartley. What a catch! Touchdown! Devin Harbert! Oh, that was a great catch by Harbert. 
He was covered by Derek Kelson, and the ball was really underthrown. You'll see it now. Hartley just dropping back, lofting the ball up high. Now watch this grab. The ball is underthrown. Harbert sees it. Kelson does not one-handed look at that grab for the touchdown. He never got his second hand until he was in the end zone on the ground. What a grab. Gillett for the point after. That's a great catch, and you're so right. That was an understatement. Happy young man, Devin Harbert. Is that? Would be McManus and Graham are back deep. Would be a lot closer if they would have kicked the field goal, though, wouldn't it? Yeah. Skillet trying to deny any kind of a real return here. Graham picks up. I mean, why not? I do that every day. Why not increase the odds a little bit? From the 22, first down for the Boilermaker. 11 yards to Harbert. Hardly has not made it easy on his receivers with the kind of passes he's been throwing here today. He's been struggling. Second and nine. Throw it on that stop. 0 for 10 on third down to the Boilermaker. Finally gave the cushion on the near side a 12-yard pickup. Really? For yeah. next fullback, yeah. Graham, good cutback move. Yet Indiana. Beautiful fall afternoon for Big Ten football. And the Boilermakers out a second down. About five yards to go at the Purdue 45-yard line. in the middle of the line and Graham able to slither away for 27 yards. First and 10. Drum Meyer. He's not going down. He's forced out of bounds. Short of the end zone. What's happened? He ran into a wall of white clad Hawkeye defenders. Exactly. with it, Mike Burke on the recovery. Purdue coming back Fox. with the option. And I believe it's a bad pitch by Brian Fox. You'll see they ride the fullback in. Fox keeps it, makes the pitch, yeah. hits, Fo hits Graham right on the shoulder pad. Certainly was catchable. I think Graham may have taken his eye. Iowa takes over with 13.43 to go on the game. Hawkeyes leading by 10. Second down, about a yard to go. Tony Stewart, first down, into the clear to the 50. Purdue was first and goal from the Iowa 6. Now the Hawkeyes are first and 10 from the Purdue 12. Stop, Mark Foster. Gain of two yards. Second down. This afternoon. Sonder. That's it. Touchdown. Richard Bass. Not Saunders on the carry. Nine yard touchdown run. Purdue coaches were concerned about the tackling by the Boilermakers. You'll see one missed tackle right there. And another one right there. But that one was too late anyway. Would have been a touchdown. Richard Bass. Time for Purdue to start putting the ball in the air. They're going to have to. Jeff Skillet on the kickoff. This is Graham to the 10. Return and a first and 10 coming up. Coming up. Fox. First down. Riley and Foster were there. Scales. 
first down out to the 42-yard line. Midport comfortable margin. Box on first down. <laughs> made the catch near the four. Elvin Foster was there for <laughs> Off the mark on that attempt for Ray Graham. On third down to the Vortimax. Dave Haight got a piece of it. And the you see the official <laughs> ducking, make sure he's not part of the action. The play in the ball game. The Iowa Hawkeyes with a comfortable lead over the Boilermakers. Iowa takes over near the Hawkeye 18-yard line, first and 10. It opened and it went right through his hand. I don't know. Some Tony Stewart. Here does he not? Look at it. I don't know. I, you know, you saw Stewart tighten up a little bit as <laughs> the runs get longer and longer. Those are the two plays that have turned this game around. Adams just did get that fun away on it. Couldn't haul it in. Well, Williams had an opening that box just over. For McManus down the sideline, Smiley had the coverage in the Iowa secondary. On is Lance Jive, and it is a fourth down for Purdue. Keaton Smiley had the cover. Shot block, offense decline. That means Purdue on fourth down to be. John McCarthy. Drive, 32 yard punt, four yard return. Andy Gasparro downfield first for the Boilermakers on the tackle. We'll be back after the defensively. They have not allowed Purdue uh, to really move well. One drive deep into Iowa Terry. Action that time by Chuck Hartley. He had great throwing lanes. He could view the balloon on the bottom. Nothing there for Saunders. Mike Saunders, the ball carrier. Second and 12. Second deflection we have seen here in the last two Iowa drives. The helmet, yeah. We'll talk about a sidearm pass. Third down and 12. Hartley going for it all to Watkins. Watkins just flat beat Mark Foster. First and goal, Iowa at the seven yard line. New Boilermakers, Nick Bell open along the goal line. Ball second down and goal to go. Intercepted on the play by the Boilermakers. They come all the way. The end stayed in the block. Beaks dropped off the center field. Read the drop in the eyes of the court. And 60 some yards later, the Boilermakers are at the line of the Hawkeyes, first and 10. Scales still was there. I didn't really see it initially that Scales uh, tripped him up. Loss of 10, second and 20. Scales in motion. Brummeyer. Good determination by Ernie Schrummeyer. 28 yard gain in the last five yards. He carried a defender with him. First and 10 to the 22. Coming back across the grain. Scales could not hang on. Oh, did they have it set up? Great concentration by Strumreyer. Once again, two going for it on fourth and eight from the 20 of Iowa. Timeout taken on the field. We've got a break. 33 left to go, and Iowa takes over on downs. First and 10. Of the Hawkeye, 28. Hartley. Well, they're leading 24 to 7, and second and 10 now for Iowa. I would think they just try to kill the clock. John Smith in motion. 
Here's the running play we expected. Well, this may get him more than Huddy Passwood. Breaking far ahead of the field. Going all the way for the touchdown. Mike Saunders. 73 yards. Tell me, what's running up the score? To throw for it or to run 73 yards? My goodness, that is a great play by Saunders who broke into the clear. Wayne, you're going to see Purdue in man-to-man -man coverage. The out, you'll see no secondary coverage in deep center fielder. Once he breaks through the line, he gets by Foster. It's a foot race with Beeks. He's got him beat. Now it's all she wrote. Saunders all the way for a touchdown. And that's part of the weakness, one of the weaknesses of man-to-man -man coverage. You don't have, if you can spread your guys out, you don't have 31 to 7 over Purdue. Mom, my dad, I love that pass. <laughs> we're sorry, Hayden. We didn't mean to imply you were running up the score. <laughs> Here's the kick by Skillet. Deep drive, and McManus about a yard into the end. They throw the ball to this juncture, and then they break a run like that. Pull him away from Boston College. Not much there for the tail. Second and nine. 33 yard line. Philip Bradley made the stop on the play. Third down and four from the 33 of Purdue. Phil Bradley, It is a fourth down for Purdue. That's right. talking. That's a layman talking right there. Marciano will try it. Oh, they got the wall set up. One I believe they're going to call it back. You could see McCarthy kind of getting his feet set. He knew I'm the only. Tom Pahalski in a quarterback, and Saunders gets the call up the middle for about two yards. Matt. Here's the toss again on the run. Saunders out across the five yards to go from the Hawkeye 14. Tom Pahalski, quarterback. Diving attempt made. It's incomplete. Falloon, the intended receiver on the near side. Steve Jackson had the coverage. Coming up next week, we will be... Adams shanks it. Down for the Boilermakers near the 33-yard line. In Iowa Terrace. But it also took him out of the punting picture. He may be back in next week. I don't know. From the 33 first down. Cool. Redshirt freshman. Second and about 17. A little bit more than 17 yards to go. Bell on the give to Ray Graham. Oh, he hits that hole well, doesn't he? He's going to be an exciting runner. Just a young freshman. Yeah. quarterback back outside the 30 near the 35. You know Blitzer gets a fourth down. Boilermakers going for it. Bell on the run. Pass overthrown and complete and the Hawkeyes will take over on downs. Four seconds left to be played. Time for one. It's at five starts in Iowa territory today but just one touchdown on the board. Final play of the game. 